open start and type CMD and run it as administrator. Type WSL shutdown or copy the command from the description below and press enter. My Hyper-V services is turned off but for you, it shows nothing and the command will shut down the Hyper-V. Now you can close CMD and fortunately, your problem has been fixed. Open start and type Windows PowerShell and run it as administrator. Type Restart Service LXSS Manager or copy the command from the description below and press Enter. My Hyper-V services is turned off but for you, it shows noting and the command will shut down the Hyper-V. Now you can close Windows PowerShell and fortunately, your problem has been fixed. Open this PC. Now open C Drive. And then open the Users folder. And after that open your username folder. You should have config file. Right click on it and open it with txt. After that, you can change your memory limit. Or you can add this GUI applications equals false to end up the file. After that save the txt file and reset your system and fortunately, your problem has been fixed. Open Start and type Windows PowerShell and run it as administrator. Now type WSLLV to show you the list of running virtual machine. After that you have to type WSLT and the virtual machine OS name. Like WSLT Kali Linux or WSLT Ubuntu. After that reset your system and fortunately, your problem has been fixed. I hope this video helped you. If it was so, click the like and subscribe button. I will catch you in the next video.